What up, guys? This is Brayden here, coming from Dynasty Central. I uh, got a little bit of change up, and I am so hyped. College football is just around the corner. Seriously, like, I, no, no, no joke, no joke. I, I've been, I follow College Game Day. They're gonna go to Wisconsin and LSU for. Um, that's the first game they're going to go to, and uh, I see LSU pulling away with that one. But anyways, um, the point is that college football is here, and uh, I've been watching um, them, college football. They've been counting down on Instagram, and I believe on Twitter, but mainly Instagram. They come out with a play every day of something random, and from 100 down to 1. So, um, yeah, it's August. It's Friday. Uh, this should come out on Friday. Uh, next week is the first college football game, and I believe um, I'm gonna watch it too. Uh, I, there's more. There should be more, but one of them is California versus Hawaii. Not a big deal or anything, but our he was a graduate transfer and he went to California, uh, and now he's playing at California. He's a QB. His name is Davis Webb. Um, wasn't very big at Texas Tech. I mean, he played great, great quarterback, great. I mean, he can. He's not a mobile quarterback. He's a pocket passer. He he, he's gonna do a great fit, and I, I'm happy for him. I, I hope for the best for him. But um, that, that game's gonna come out, and then uh, the big games for like bigger teams, like uh, not bigger teams, Cal. That's a good team, but I mean like Alabama, Clemson, those good teams. Though the bigger bigger ones. Are gonna the not that week, but the next week. So technically, for those teams, it's gonna be two weeks. So Texas Tech doesn't play for another two weeks, counting this week. So one, two, and then Friday, and then one day. So September third, which is on Saturday, which are there's gonna be a couple games. I think Baylor plays on September second. But anyways, I'm just hyped that college football's around, and I got these new rosters. Yes, and you see my gamer tag in the right corner. Go ahead and hack it. I don't care. This is offline dynasty. You can't do anything about it. So I might be over exaggerating. I don't care. Uh, anyways, it's Clemson Nation. <laughs> uh, the tournament locations off. I don't care. Um, you know, forget the Houston dynasty. Nothing against Houston. <laughs> yeah, nothing against Houston at all, man. Go ahead and beat Oklahoma while you're at it. <laughs> I doubt that's gonna happen, but uh, it's gonna be a good game, and hopefully Houston pulls away with it. I'd like them to win. I don't like Oklahoma. That's just me. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm just a Texas Tech fan. I'm just not used to playing with a team that I'm not a fan of and I don't watch in real life and then I'm going to play in an offline dynasty. And then I had all this stuff going on. Y'all might be interested in it and then think, oh, what's going to happen next? I'll go ahead and watch it. Just a video from this guy's channel. What the heck? I'm just going to watch it. No, I just was never intrigued of it. I never was intrigued of it, so I'm not going to do it. So I created another one. This is going to be kind of interesting, too. So, since college football is coming around the corner, um, when Texas Tech plays September 3rd, they play Stephen of Austin, FCS team. Um, that's their first game. And then, uh, when they, uh, let's see, kind of confused here. Uh, yeah, every week, obviously, there's a new game, and then they would have a bye week. I think the Big 12, Big 12 has a bye week every four weeks. So, let's see here. Um... I'm going to come out with a video every week, every one week, whenever Texas Tech plays a game. I think that might be kind of cool. If they have a bye week. If I, if I want to speed it up more, I might just say whatever about it. I want to keep on doing it, and I'll continue with it, and just don't care about Texas Tech in real life. I'll just do it in, in their real. So yeah, I am going to be Texas Tech in this one. Uh, updated rosters. The only thing I don't like about these updated rosters, they don't have Devin Lauderdale. Great wide receiver for Texas Tech. Got and this year in at Texas Tech we're great in height, depth, and wide receiver. Like everything, it's averaging from like five foot nine to six foot three. Like every wide receiver is from that range. Um, so yeah, that's great. I mean, five foot nine is a big deal, but they can be very mobile. Look, Jakeem Grant. Look, he got drafted. Go to him. Great for him. Hopefully, he does the best for him too. But uh, yeah, point is, I'm going to be. Texas Tech, let me get a remote off the ground. Um, yeah, Heisman difficulty, uh, six minutes. Um, I normal. Uh, I am playing defense. I will be the head coach. Uh, I put a uh, player mint spit the rest hold. 
Tie slate it? Okay. I'll put it on 10 because it's not normal for, like, say, Trevon Boykin. This is an example. He was scrambling out of the pocket and a defensive lineman chases him down. I mean, it's it's pretty reasonable. But, I mean, most of the time, no one's going to chase down Trevon Boykin <laughs> on the D line. I mean, come on. Like, Patrick Mahomes running down. I've had that in so many times in offline dynasties. I mean, I could put it at zero. But I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to do that. I was, 10 sounds good. I'm going to go 10. And this is where it gets better. <laughs> the Well, not the game rules. Well, this gets interesting, but the next one after that. Uh, okay, so I'm using the black set. The hardest set out of Operation Sports from this guy. Uh, if you want to search it up, just search up black set. I just thought that's what I did. I don't, I don't know how to put it down in the description. I'll figure out that so I can do that. But for now, just go to Google and search up. That's what I did. Black set NCAA Football 14. And the first thing that came up was Operation Sports. And it said red set, green set, all those sets. And the black set was the hardest. So I went to the black set. And I've done it one time, dude. It was hard. <laughs> well, one I was because I was uh, Kansas. But um, anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm using the black set. Uh, offsides, pill, uh See, all of this seems realistic. I mean, God, off kick, uh, 100, 170, 54. The only thing, I'm not going to like clipping, 56. At least it's not like 70. I was not going to go with it. I'm about to say, just keep it at 50. I'm telling you now, I'm about to get so aggravated in this game because of clipping. <laughs> no joke. In terms of the grounding, that's going to be kind of hard because I like to throw it out of bounds when I'm under pressure and I can't go anywhere with the quarterback and I have to throw it somewhere. No. Try to throw it out of bounds, but then in terms of the grounding, comes out. Um, it's going to be interesting. And rough the kicker, I like that to where it to be 100 because we rarely, rarely, I do at least, see a flag come out saying about rough the kicker. Okay, this is where it gets interesting comparing to the user and the CPU. So, QB accuracy is 5, pass block is 5, wide receiver catching is 5, running battle ability, sweet. Yeah, it's 10 plus from these three, but run, about, run blocking is 0. Pass coverage, 45. Interceptions, 30. Rush defense, 25. Tackling, it's at 50, so that's that's what it all is when you start out. It's all 50, so he left it to 50, so I thought, all right, I can work that, all right. Field goal power, 50. Field goal accuracy, 30. Um, uh, pump power, 50. And then all, I mean, pretty much all looks the same on kicking. And then when you get to the CPU, oh, my God, bro. Like, I'm not, okay, by the way, I'm not voice over, like, over voicing this. What do you call it? Um, voiceovers? Yeah, I'm doing this from straight up because my internet's good right now. So that's what I'm trying to do so we can actually enjoy the game while it's happening. Um, like I could talk while it's happening except voiceovering it doesn't seem as fun as like, you know, when Film, film of Raps does it, Lil Chef, the Italian, when they do it, um, they talk with the game. They don't voice over it. So it's better that way. And so y'all probably already looking at it while I'm talking. You're probably like, oh my god. <laughs> But anyways, uh, yeah, QB accuracy 55, wa pass blocking 60, RC catching 70, run ability 100, run block. Okay, this, by the way, this is CPU. This is not me. So don't go, oh my gosh, he's being unfair. No, this is CPU. This was when I played the CPU. Uh, run blocking 55, pass coverage 100, interception 75, rush defense 100, tackling 100. And then uh, I think this is the same as mine, close enough. Uh, field goal power 50, field goal accuracy 40, uh, pump power 50, except pump accuracy where it's 100, and then kickoff power 50. And then Dynasty, uh, I put it at default because it's, they have Cliff Kingsbury at 35 level. He's higher than Mike Gundy. And almost as higher than uh, Gary Patterson. Gary Patterson's level 36. I'm just like, whoa. Game that's a little, a little over extravagant there because... I, you know, my gun, he's just, a, I mean, he's been coaching longer than Cliff Kingsbury as a head coach. And so is Gary Patterson. And I just thought, well, that was, and I did put it fast, yes. And then I guess that's going to be the dynasty. And you know what, let's change it. Uh, YouTube. Oh, shoot, I can't even spell you. <laughs> YouTube. I put a, no, I can't put anything on here. I just put YouTube. Why not? I was going to be YouTube Dynasty, but it's already a Dynasty, so. Yep, that's everything. Uh, boom, boom, and boom. Ice kicker, home field advantage, all that stuff. Injury, all that. Okay. Backing out right there. 
Um, but this BS, BCS, I'm gonna take all this stuff off. Take the, this is video is not gonna be edited because I'm talking all the time, so <laughs> I don't wanna edit it. Uh, not because I'm lazy, just I'm talking. So I'm taking all this stuff off. So like one and two can play, three and four can play, five and six can play, seven and eight can play, nine and ten. And when it gets to uh, like, and maybe there's like a rank twenty-two person playing an unranked team. But as the top 10, I'm pretty sure the top 20 play each other, like back to back. So I'm going to take all those off. If you don't like, I can change that next year. But for now, that's how I'm going to roll. Custom Conference. So as y'all know, the Big 12 is going to most likely and is should be um, expanding. So I mean, all these teams are going to stay. But I decided, so I'm just going to add two teams. And those teams are, drum roll please, which I can't do sound effects effects until I can figure out how. I'm not, I wasn't looking at those teams. Hell no. Uh, American. Doom, 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 it's Houston. It's Houston. I don't know why I was doing the presidential chief thing there, but whatever. Um, Houston. So Houston's going in the Big 12. I'll sort these later. I mean, that's not one side for now. I mean, I'll switch it. And the next team, I know if we go to the, I uh, know you're thinking BYU, but give me a second. Um, are they in the ACC? I should know better about my conferences. Oh, why they're in this conference. So, Cincinnati. I'm just like, Cincinnati, I mean, it's still not going to be a challenge in the Big 12. I just like, ugh. I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going with BYU. They got a better offense and a better defense, so I'm like, I'm going to put them there. So this is the comp. I'm not saying this is what it's going to be in real life. I'm just saying this is what I decided in the game. And Bronzy, can you stop inviting me to the freaking party, bro? You're going to watch this video later and be like, well, <laughs> you're probably going to be laughing. You know, hold up. Hold up. I'm doing this right now. Well, the sounds off. Well, I don't care. I, I'm listening. I have my sound off on the computer, anyways. <laughs> okay, so I would say I don't like you on the same side. So we're gonna put you. I'll switch you here. I mean, that's a good rivalry. People wouldn't want this in real life. I mean, something's gonna happen. Some rivalry's gonna be broke. Oh uh, shoot! 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 Uh. No, no, that didn't seem right. Does that work? Texas, Texas Tech. I mean, that rivalry stayed. I don't know, that one's. Mm, Baylor. And, well, Baylor's rosters. I said they're good, but they always drop. Uh, I'm going to stick with this. So, Baylor, Iowa State, Kansas State, BYU, Oklahoma, West Virginia. This is Division A. I could change the name in the other sections. Conference rules. Like, I can. This is where I can change it right there. But, um, I mean, there's some years where, like, TCU could play, like, BYU. Or, like, Texas Tech could play Baylor. I mean, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but <clears throat> that's what happens in real life. So sometimes we're in the beginning of the year where one team of the conference plays a different team on the other side of the conference. So, I think this is good. I just didn't want Iowa State and Kansas on one side, and I didn't want BYU and Houston on the same side. All right. That works. And TCU, I mean, I'm telling you, not TCU. Well, maybe TCU, I don't know. Uh, no, my point was going to say Texas, dude, this team right here. I'm not saying this coming year and this year in the dynasty, but the next year or the year after, dude, this team's going to be good. Like, it's going to be good in the dynasty. I'm telling you now. Same thing in real life. This team is a huge sleeper in the Big 12. I'm telling you, bro. Like, so many young guys on that defense in real life. And <laughs> not this... Not this year. No, it's just going to be a no, no, <clears throat> normal Texas year like last year, but a little more progress. Though I'm pretty sure they're going to get the bowl game this year. Oh, yeah. But um, year after, they'll do better. The year after that, they look pretty good. And the year after that, it's going to look really good. Like 2018, 2019, something like that. It's going to look good for Texas. Anyways, uh, 
sorry for me rambling on, but I don't know how long this video is at. It's already 15 minutes, but yeah, that's it right there. We have all this stuff, and now let me show you the Texas Tech ratings. Come on, man. I'm a half Mexican. I can do this. Okay, I'm not in the mood for it to do it today. <laughs> Should I do a drum roll with my teeth? Not my teeth. What? My tongue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Boom. Uh, I can't get right on it because it won't show us. So I'm going to go to the left. Oh, maybe I go to the Okay, let's go to the right. Um, where it says 86 overall, 91 offense. I love that. I love because I, I was telling myself this new roster is better have Texas Tech over a 90 offense. I'm going to be a very mad camper. Yes, the defense is 82. We lost a lot of people, but the secondary is coming back, and it's very young in real life. Even though we are losing like two, three guys. There's a lot of guys, like Deshaun Johnson, safety. Ooh, that guy's looking good. Brandon Fioco. Mm. And there's this new freshman. Um, Jonathan Pinecon? <laughs> Pinecon, I think that's your last name. I'm sorry, I'm saying it wrong. It's P-I-K... No, forgot. P-I-C-O-N-E. P-I-C-O-N-E. That guy's going to be legit. Anyways, 91 offense, 82 defense. Cliff Kingsbury. Um... Obviously, it cannot go higher than that because in real life, this is what he did. 2013 went 8 and 5, 2014 went 4 and 8, and then 2015 went 7 and 6. So, that's what happened there. And for some reason, it says I was hired in 2011. What the crap? <laughs> that's not true. He was hired in 2013. If you're a Texas Tech fan, you should know this. <laughs> what the, I don't know. Whatever. Because it, it does that 4 or 5 contract thing. Anyways, I'm going to sign on this year. There we go. Boom! Yes, sir! This is what I was expecting. So, from Cliff Kingsbury, dude, this guy loves his recruits. I mean, he, when, if you know him, he goes with recruiting to the game management. I know it sounds weird comparing it to re real life, but, I mean, recruiting in real life, that's reasonable compared to a game management. Kind of weird. But, I knew, hopefully, it was probably going to be maxed out, and it is, so all I have to worry about is game management. So, maybe we get some insta commits, bro. That's uh, sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, I don't. I hate that. Why does it say Matt Walderstedt? Uh, Stet. I'm. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. But a real defense coordinator is from Houston Cougars in real life, which he did great there for two years. Now he's at Texas Tech, and it's his second year. And his name is David Gibbs. Eric Morris. That's correct. But I pff, level thirteen. Come on, game. He should be like at least level anywhere from fifteen to twenty. Yeah, Cliff Kingsbury, level 35. I love it. Sweet, bro. Sweet. Um. This part I'm going to edit. So, um. Hopefully his voice stays. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't forget that. Um. I'll be right back after I'm done with my recruiting, custom schedules, and red shirts, and all this sort of stuff. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, got done with everything, so hopefully the editing goes good where I just automatically skip all that and I'm right here where I'm right now I'm talking to you. Um, so I went through depth chart, red shirts, everything, so let's go through it. And this video is going to probably be, I don't know, I'm going to estimate anywhere from 20 to 27 minutes. I don't really don't know. So um, we'll I'll tell you why I have a water suit there later, but. Uh, uh, obviously, Patrick Holmes, 92 overall, bro. Got that speed, bro. Only 84, only 86. That's all right. But I want to show you something. <laughs> okay, so 90 throw power and 87 throw out because he as a junior. Now, probably should give me a little bit more respected. I had an, I'm, I'm in all dice right now. Where I'm him, dude. This guy does not play like he has 90 throw power. Plays like he has like 95 throw power. So hopefully when he's a senior, he'll be at least above, I mean, next year, I don't know, but in the new updated rosters next year, hopefully they put him anywhere from 95 to 98 as a senior, because that's what he deserves. But what I just wanted to get to is kick return. Um, since we lost Jakeem Grant and he went to Miami, um, we got, <laughs> look at all these wide receivers, and you got running back up here. So in the last uh, rosters, they had him at 90 speed, 
80 a sale, no, 85 a sale, and um, 70 awareness, and like 80 something agility. Now they have him at 93 speed, 91 a celebration, 91 agility. Now this guy does not play like he's that slow compared to like Rachel Davis, where he has 96 speed and 91 acceleration, or like Kiki, where he has 90 speed and 93 uh, acceleration. I just chose him. I like it. I'm going to go with it. Uh, yes, I probably could have put Reginald Davis. I don't know. I'll decide. I mean, they both have the same cell, and he's faster, and he has better agility. So, what all, I don't know. I don't know. For now, I'm going to have him at uh, Kick Returner. I'm just stocking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, once that auto saves in progress, we'll get on to red shirts. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So, here we go with the red shirts. I want to tell you something. Hold up. Quarterback. Jet Duffy. Basically an 80 overall freshman quarterback. 6'1", 90 speed, 87 acceleration, 85 agility. Dude, this guy is good. Now, I'll get to the throw pattern at the rock in a second. But I watched this guy at, I believe he played at Lake Ridge. Yes, Lake Ridge. And he, they won state too. And there was this thing where Jamie Foxx put on Twitter where uh, he's like, let's go to Lake Ridge, go back to back to back, and I mean back to back uh, state champs. I don't know how Jamie Fox knew what Lake Ridge was. I might sound stupid right now, but I don't know how Jamie Fox knew that. But anyways, the point is, I uh, saw this guy, great, great, faster than Patrick Mahomes. And probably didn't, he doesn't have a good arm as Patrick Mahomes, and he just needs to work on a few things. But uh, he's a he's a he's good, bro. This guy's good. I'm gonna redshirt him. Now, Nick Shemenick in real life, I mean, he's not the best, but people, a lot of people doubt him as second string, and they said, oh, let's put Jed Duffy freshman in second string. No, this guy works hard. He comes out of the practice. I watch videos from Texas Tech. This guy in real life is good. I mean, he's a good second string quarterback for Texas Tech for the backup Patrick Mahomes. And um, he'll do good. He's a good quarterback. And he should be a little bit more respected in real life than, than he is. But anyways, I mean, from from other people. I'm not saying the coaches. No, they respect him a lot. Definitely the offensive staff and the defense sees him. I mean, he's a good guy. <laughs> good guy. Um, anyways, let's just go over here. I want to show you. I haven't seen his throw pattern. So, yeah, it's not the best. It's only 81. and it, I wish it was the other way around where he had 85 throw power and 81 throw accuracy, but it is what it is. Um, very fast, dude. Like, this guy's got like a triple option, bro. Like, I was in a practice mode with him. Good dude. I mean, in the off season, he'll come back as a freshman. He'll be like 80, anywhere from 80 to 85 as a freshman. So, hopefully he doesn't leave. He shouldn't. 6'1", 200 pounds. And Patrick Mahomes. Look at that. They have him bald. He's <laughs> at 219. I'm going to change that. Because where well, there's a certain weight, like, whoever, like, if they have a certain weight, they can't look different at their face. Like, their face changes. Like, say if they weigh 215 pounds, the face will change. So, the face picture, like I'm looking, like, you're looking at right now, it should. So, I'm going to put it at 215. I'm only going to drop it four pounds. I'm going to say, oh, you know how, like, they do in real life when coaches tell them to drop pounds or gain weight. So, I'm, I'm just going to tell him, hey, you need to lose some weight. And I'm going to change that. Like how Flummer Raps does. Or he does his, his little segment. segment. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do that and I'm going to change his face because that knows crap out of me. <laughs> that he's bald. Because that's not true. Uh, Quinn White, um, good, hard working dude in real life. Um, uh, fast back. Uh, I'm going to redshirt him. Cor Dauphine already got redshirted. Demarcus Felton already got redshirted. Just Stockton hasn't. I'm most likely will redshirt him next year. But, um, so yeah, because he's going to be a senior next year. So, Quinn White's going to be redshirted. Got three backs. So we're good there. Full back. I don't care. For them. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Dylan Cantrell is not a senior. Let me tell you this right now. So I can redshirt him, right? I'm going to redshirt him. Uh, <laughs> in real life, they redshirted him as a junior. So he wasn't playing last year in 2015. So now I guess the game didn't know that and they put him as a senior. So that's why I'm redshirting him. So where Patrick Mahomes will be a senior and Dylan Cantrell will be a senior. So I'm doing that. Um... Yes, uh, I got Ian Sadler, bro. Like, look at this, bro. Like, I don't even know who this is. I never saw you in real life. I mean, you're a junior? John Dion High? Bro, and I, I don't know about the... I hope I, I get some expectations from you. Only 882. There's no Devin Lauderdale, like I said. There's only Reginald Davis, which is kind of ticking me off a little bit. But 
guess what it is, what it is. I went through every roster of new ones and I can't find them, so guess they don't know who, who Devin Lauderdale is. <laughs> Derek Willie, 6'3". He's surprisingly only 90... Uh, 92. 82 overall with 94 speed, 92 acceleration, and 91 agility. Guy's good, bro. Guy's good. 6'3"? Mm, I'm gonna love that. Uh, Ian Sadler. I mean, I know Ian Sadler. Tony Brown. Good, man. They got an impact last year, the freshman. A true freshman. Uh, Detona Thompson. He was a tight end, I believe. And he was a freshman last year, but I, where it says RS, so I guess he was registered last year. I didn't know that. Because the game didn't know that either, so with I mean people that made the rosters, so I guess they switched him over to wide receiver. Now he is at wide receiver, and he is six four. <laughs> yes, sir. Eighty one overall freshman. I love it. Kiki. I don't know how to say his last name. I just I, I didn't even know how to say his first name until I watched Texas Tech videos when I saw him practice. This guy's good. Seventy seven overall sophomore. Guy's good. Um, Cameron Bats got to keep this bro. Guy's good. Uh, Jonathan Giles started as a true freshman last year. He, he made he had a few catches, he had a few touchdowns. I think he had like one or three, something in there touchdowns. So I'm gonna redshirt him. Um, this guy, uh, don't even know who that is. Cash Nunston. I'm gonna say the K is silent. Nunston. Nunston. I don't know why I said Nunston. What the crap? Nunston. I'm just guess the K is silent. Uh, Dequan Bowman. I never saw this guy in real life. You're not good. I'm sorry. Never saw you. That's probably why. And I'll put you good in the game, so if you're only 69 overall as a junior, so I'm going to retro you. There's nothing to tie in. I, that's mainly what I did. Um, lefty and I did rich, uh, Richard Howard, because I got more. Um, and I got a senior here, junior here, junior here. So these guys are going to be leaving next year, so this guy will come back as a sophomore. And I'm going to have, obviously, Richard. I'm mean, not Richard. Recruited Lefty next year. And I try to look for one in this year, but they were terrible, all of them. Probably we we'll could have went after one that doesn't want to go to me, but yeah, I don't go that way. Rusher to this freshman. D tackles. Braden Fioco, bro. 83 over sophomore. Dude, this guy's legit in real life. Great dude, bro. Great dude. Everyone in his family that played football is good, bro. I mean, great. So, he's obviously a starter. Uh, okay, this guy right here. Like I said earlier, Jonathan Pycone. Uh, dude, does not play like a 74 overall freshman. He plays like an 80 overall freshman. Guy's good. Guy's good. I'm going to keep him. He's going to start as a true freshman. Got a red shirt. Right side linebacker corners. I got a lot of seniors. Got Justin Nelson's. Nelson. Uh, Nguemi. Man, I can't even say he's got a name. What the crap? <laughs> Paul Banks, the third. Richard and you, your senior. Uh, DJ. Um, Richard and you. Paul Lee. Murray. Um, your junior. Sophomore. Senior. So I'm losing. Two guys this year. What a loss. Four guys in the secondary, so. And I still have five, so that's good. Free safeties. I would retro David Madison since he's a junior, but I'm just like, you know what? I want to keep him. And then Sean Johnson, star player in the defense. Hey, dude. Guy's good. He's going to be, he's going to be sophomore. He's going to be close to a 90 or something higher when he's a senior. It's going to be nice. Strong safety, can't reach everybody, and then obviously kick and punt, um, Payne Hatfield, and then Michael Barden. So, there's that. Okay, I showed you that. That felt like it took in forever. <laughs> oh my god, we're up to 40 minutes, bro? I am so sorry. I'm probably just going to skip this. Ah, uh, god, bro. Well, plus the editing, so that will be knocked off. Okay. We play at Arizona State, second week, bro. Yes, sir. That's what we're doing in real life. I believe we play Stephen F. Austin and then at Arizona State, and then we're home for Louisiana Tech. I think that's what happens in real life. I know we definitely play Louisiana, uh, Louis, I don't know, Louisiana Tech. Stephen F. Austin at home. So, but I couldn't, I don't want to play an FCS team, so I didn't do that. Anyways, by week at Arizona State, home for TCU, home for Louisiana Tech home for BYU, at Kansas, at Iowa State. And this was the hardest one. <laughs> yeah, Pitt was the hardest one. Like, I can, well, actually, no, that's not true. I think I had USC. No, I had Notre Dame. And I don't want to play Notre Dame with the black set yet. I don't know. I think Pitt was the second hardest, I meant to say. My bad. Yeah, they're the second hardest. Because you look at everybody. I don't play Notre Dame right off the bat, so we're going to do that. Um... 
And then we're at Houston, home for Oklahoma State, home for Kansas State, at Baylor, by week, and then the go good rivalry as Texas Longhorns at Texas, and then conference championship week. So, but and we got an A minus schedule. So, there's that. It's awesome. Now, recruiting, I was kind of actually surprised because Texas Tech usually doesn't get good recruits. I only went after nine guys, and uh, that's probably stupid. But um, I went after guys that I needed, and a few other dudes, a few other dudes. What, Marty on, <laughs> Marty on the scouting. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why, but some YouTubers, um, oh my God, let me get a drink of water real quick. <clears throat> good water, good water. All right. Like I said, some YouTubers do not like to show scouting, and I'm just like, and I'm just like, Flimmo Raps does, but some other YouTubers just don't. I don't know why. Anyways, Eddie Costello, bro, 6'6", 267 pounds, we're fourth on his list. He is a gem. Ah, uh, 6'6", bro. Uh, catching 83, 82 speed, 86 acceleration. Uh, block is basically, run block is basically 70, spectacular catch, basically an 80. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> God's good. Yeah, that's good. As an overall tight end, 6'6". Six, six. I love it. Yeah. Another gym when we're first placed on this guy's list. <laughs> Dude, it gets even better. This guy is 6'7". Six, 6'7". Seven. Six, seven. Yeah, I know. The championship contender proximity to home and playing time. No. What do you mean playing time? We don't have no good tight ends. We have no tight ends at all. Come on now. Uh, You're not fast. You're not fast. Uh, you could be in the good block game. He can be in the block game. Uh, catching, uh, catching is almost a 70. Uh, hmm. hopefully in the offseason maybe we can gain some speed. Trucking, 80. Um, I might put you in a fullback. No, I'm just kidding. 6'7", fullback, you crazy? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just kidding. But, spectacular catch, 7. Yeah, I mean, he's decent. I mean, not good as Eddie Costello, but... He'll get there. <laughs> this dude. I try to go after. I uh, went after so many D tackles. No. Guys. Garbage. And we need a D tackle. Actually, that's not true, but we're losing a guy, and that's going to put us in low depth in D tackle. So I'm going to go ahead and go after this guy. I mean, at least if he would have had anywhere from 65 and under tackle, I wouldn't go after him. But I'm going to redshirt him his freshman year. So uh, I'm going after this athlete. I don't even know what he was, I never looked at him. Uh, catching's good. Speed, acceleration, decent. Man in zone. Alright. Uh, caring's good. Juke, spin moves, terrible. Release is, ugh, gross. Stiff arm, the or tackle, eh. Wide receiver? I mean, for release would be better. I mean, you might be a secondary. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can catch the ball, be in the secondary. Who? I told you. 6-1? How, how much do you weigh? 212? <laughs> 212. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, we got a tackle. Um, 81 pass block, 80, uh, 77 run block, 66 speed, but 94 acceleration. He's alright. I mean, he, wish, he, he does have pass block, and we're going to be a passing team, so that's good. That's good. I, I was about to say I wish his pass block was better, but I was thinking the other way around. But, yeah, his pass block's good, so... 81 is a freshman. That's good. Works with me. 6'2". Alright. This guy's 6'4", 291 pounds. Big dude. From Texas. Uh, 84 pass block, but 76 run block. Um, 70 speed, 90 celebration. <clears throat> See, when it's like that one point off, I just say 70. That's just me. That's what I like to do. I don't say 69 if it's just basically 70. Uh, corner. 69 overall. Alright, there we go. Uh, man coverage 81, zone 80, uh, kind of fast, I mean, if acceleration was better, tackle was terrible, I mean, that's just a corner for you, <laughs> press, yeah, I mean, he's alright, he's alright, he's alright, uh, I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna take him, I see something from him, this guy, 85 zone, we need to get in the zone sec sec section, he's pretty, he, I mean, he's decently fast, jumps good, uh, acceleration, acceleration, agility, stamina is good, um, if I, yeah, I'm gonna most likely redshirt both of these, actually no, because we might need a, somebody out there, hmm, I don't know, we'll decide, I don't know, I'm most likely redshirt the best player, even though this guy's supposedly 69, but I see Don Donnie Richardson better than him, 
All right, 77 overall free safety. Fast dude, decent, I mean, straight up, 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 83 tackle. So he's one of a secondary position that can tackle. Uh, 72 play recognition, dude, his agility is up at 94. And his stamina is at 82. Uh, shoot, pursuit 75, press 77. I mean, zone, man, I mean, it's going to be the other way around. Man, zone is going to be good, tackle's not. Tackle's going to be good, man, zone's not going to be good. Or you're going to have one of those great corners or great... Like a great DB, basically, that is going to be great tackle and great man in zone. So he can tackle in the open space. Like if he's out there as like running back, wide receiver, he'll make the job done. Seems like he would. But uh, 77 overall as the Texas Tech, will probably low on his list. Yeah, fifth place. 6'2", 205, 204. I mean, these are tall corners. 6'1", 6'3", and then free safety, 6'2". <laughs> That's good height for a corner. Um, these bro, six, 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 seven. All right. Um, that's basically it for this, and this went off for basically fifty minutes. <laughs> oh my god, this is probably gonna be a thirty-minute video, <laughs> thirty somewhere in the thirty minutes. Um, if you wanna watch this whole video, thank you. Um, leave a like button. Leave hit the like button. Bucking for the hell's a bucking? <laughs> I screwed this up, bro. Oh my god, okay, that's going to be it for this <coughs> episode. If you liked it, leave a like. Um, until my next video. Oh wait, subscribe if you're new. Uh, like if you liked it. And uh, I can't wait to get this started. My favorite team. I'd like to see my boys hit that football field again. And uh, <laughs> um, can't wait till that happens. Anyways, I might have a video coming up quick. Who knows? But until then, I'll see you guys next time.